It must have been very difficult for you and your mother, Morrigan, to live always hiding from the Chantry and its hunters. Your pitying tone is as unwelcome as it is unnecessary, old woman. There was nothing difficult about our lives in the slightest. But surely you must have drawn notice from time to time. No matter how powerful you claim to be, you would not wish the full attention of the Chantry. Hunters did come into the wilds from time to time. They did not leave. And the interest of the Chantry was never aroused. I find that difficult to believe. I imagine you find many things difficult to believe. Your own preference for the leash you wear, for instance. There are good reasons for the world to fear mages, even despite our best intentions. Your best intentions, perhaps. Their fear concerns me not at all. <laughs> Okie dokie. Gregor, Templar. Okay, save it. Let's go back to camp. Of course. See how many items can reveal the bonuses for wearing item sets. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Um, can we discuss it another time? Tis worth your time to listen, if only for a moment. Tis not what I expected. Oh, no. I had <laughs> hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Um, damn it. Can't load it. Hmm. No, there is much of interest within her writings, things I did not know, and one in particular I would never have suspected. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. That is closer to the truth than you might think. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chastened Legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Um, are you certain about this? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. So why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. And you had no idea, I'm so sorry. Do not be sorry. I am not. I am angry. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Um, forget it. I'm not gonna help you kill your mother. You will not help me. Even after the help I have given you, even knowing what you do regarding Flemeth's plans? If I must, I will find a way to deal with this on my own. I do not wish to. I find myself enjoying the time I've spent with you, but if you force me to go, then I will. Isn't that a little extreme? It may seem so, if you think of Flemeth as a mother. Think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. 
She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Hmm. Good, then I'm not gonna help you. I'm glad I saved it. I see. Somehow I expected differently, though I do not know why. Know that we are not done with each other, you and I. We shall see each other again. Later, rather than sooner, I should think. <laughs> She's gone. 